this video is going to be highly effective. I'm not going to talk to you for four minutes about how important it is to have a email marketing software and how important it is to send emails to your subscribers. You already know that. That's why you're watching this video. This video will have three chapters. The first one will have those which I don't recommend at all to use. So these email marketing softwares, just don't use them. The second part is going to be those email marketing softwares which are special to me which are special in my heart and then I rec that I recommend them in specific scenarios. And the third one is those which are like top notch, you know, Optimus Prime, Batman, Keanu Reeves, like, like top notch, okay, on the market right now. So let's just start, let's go straight away. Uh, first, I just want to say that I'm not paid by any of these tools to say one is better comparing to the other, you should use that. You will hear it in my <laughs> reviews that I will go straight to the facts. So let's go. Now, first is MailChimp, those which I don't recommend at all. MailChimp is pure, it's like, if it would be year 2014, I would be, yes, MailChimp, is Keanu Reeves, you know, it's like Neo from Matrix, you should use that. No, it's not anymore. Not only because the pricing is so expensive, and I will see, see you the com show you the comparison between MailChimp and ConvertKit or MailRide, that ConvertKit and MailRide are much cheaper comparing to MailChimp, that for like 5,000 contacts, you would pay $33 on essential essential like pricing plan on a free yeah yes you got free plan with 2000 subscribers but it's really really limited now when you want to go and see how it actually feels to use mailchimp the drag and drop system is all right the automations are okay ish but they don't offer templates like sending bull offers they don't have like such a deep and it doesn't look does it feel smooth as in another so mailchimp i would miss that and really just don't use it now also if you would go to trustpilot you would see plenty of reviews of seeing mailchimp that it's going downhill they don't really care anymore also they are updating all the time their design so you have to actually like use a new application learn how to use it so mailchimp is okay but there are much better alternatives to it let's go further to the next one that i don't recommend is mailgun mailgun i recommend but don't recommend at all what do i mean by that Mailgun is really amazing if you're a programmer. If you're someone who loves programming uh, with a email, with an email validation, burst sending, inbox placement, deliverability, and really play around with everything, Mailgun is for you. You can test it out, check it out by yourself, but I don't recommend for everyone who wants to go straight to the email marketing, who, that you want to send emails, don't use Mailgun. Now, the third one that I don't recommend at all to use is a HubSpot. HubSpot is really amazing if you have high CRM, uh, high CRM valuable targets or someone that you want to target but look at this professional version that you have to pay $800 allows you marketing automation in the starter version for 46 bucks a month you don't actually have it so this is the main difference between the others that in HubSpot you have to pay like $800 to actually use it mamma mia do I look like I steal money $800 for 2,000 marketing contacts, ay, 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 ay. It's re again, it's really great if you if you can use all the HubSpot, HubSpot essentials and all the HubSpot what is offering for you, but for just email marketing, it's not enough. If you want to combine with CRM, that's what I would use it for. Other than that, these three, I wouldn't recommend to use. Now, let's go to those which I actually recommend and they are, they are special in my heart. So the first one is Active Campaign. Oh, my heart is being blessed right now. Active Campaign got really high price, but it got huge value too. If you're in e-commerce, go with the Active Campaign. You get something like called site tracking. It actually tracks what people were doing on uh, your website and then they leave. You just target them with an the email. Then even tracking. So if they would be watching a video uh, and they would leave, you can target them again with an email. Now, Active Campaign is really advanced, but there are three disadvantages. So, as I mentioned, the first one is pricing. The pricing is high, comparing even to like 5,000 contacts, comparing to MailChimp, for 5,000 contacts on standard, you would pay $80. In Active Campaign is $200 and paid yearly, or you can pay it monthly even. But still, it's expensive. But the quality that you're gonna get from Active Campaign is outstanding. It outmatches everyone, even Sending Bull, even MailRite, even Conrocket, even Clavio, everyone. That's how Active Campaign is good. Now, the next thing is that 
Active campaign got another two disadvantages. It's slow. Sometimes when you're gonna jump from campaign to campaign, it take the, it can takes time, and it got high learning curve. So it will actually uh, take time to actually master active campaign. So you will have to invest like two, three weeks of learning and mastering it. But when you're going to master it, you are going to be top notch. So active campaign, amazing, but only if you are generating already revenue. If you're starting out, don't use active campaign. It's really fascinating for me to see when people are recommending active campaign for starting, like who is starting in a email marketing. This is the worst decision that you can do. Like actually not having uh, the, like the free account or like uh, testing out for 40 days for free to see if you actually know how to do it without having any subscribers and you should go with active campaign that's the worst thing you can do like really worst thing and if someone is going to say to that oh my god you should invest money no no just start with something small build up your list to 10,000 subscribers with a mail right sending bull whatever and then go to active campaign to actually increase the revenue not start the revenue so active campaign use it already if you are generating revenue at least like 500, 1000 bucks a month or like 2K, then use Active Campaign. Now, the second one, if you're using e commerce, go with the Clavio. If you're using with Shopify and you are looking for WooCommerce, Clavio is a top notch. Like, mamma mia, what I'm going to show you is going to blow your head off. And I hope I won't get demonetized based on what I said just right now. So, if you would go here, email list size 5000, right? It's going to cost like $100, yes, $100, you got SMS campaigns, you got email campaigns, wonderful automations. And those automations are like top notch. look at this. You would click on flows here and you get see, okay, drive up the revenue and engagement with the key automations and browse ideas and look at this, compare this with the MailChimp. Look at this specialty, this beautiful that you can actually use with a product review cross sell back in a stock for shipping confirmation, customer win back, like so many things that you can actually use, right? So if you're using Shopify, uh, I would definitely go with the Clavio, also WooCommerce. Clavio is a top notch email marketing software, uh, and yeah, the pricing is okay ish. Again, it's a little bit cheaper comparing to MailChimp, but the quality that you're going to get in Clavio is outstanding also with SMS campaigns. And now these were that I, that are special to me. Now I'm going to talk to you the top notch on the market right now. So the first one is Sending Blue. Sending Blue in my eyes is, okay, I need to sign with the Gmail. Give me a second. Sending Blue is a top notch, not only because the automations that you can use, but also that the pricing plan is completely different. So. Sending blue pricing plan is targeted about how many emails you're going to actually send, not about how many subscribers you're going to get. So comparing that you would send 40,000 emails, you would pay 54 bucks for the light version. You can go uh, with a premium that you would pay $80 with 40,000, but you got literally everything with the marketing automations, Facebook targeting ads. And there's like with 10,000 subscribers, I do would say one like email per week. That's 40,000 emails. The pricing is really great. The one thing I really like is that you got free account that you can actually learn everything. And that's like 300 emails per day. So there's like 9,000 emails a month. When I'm going to show you how it actually feels to use Send in Blue, the one thing I really like is that it's simple. You're going to sit here, SMS campaign that you can enable or disable it, landing pages. Again, you can play around it. Facebook ads, chat, CRM, even if you want to. Now, the automation is really beautiful too, because if I'm going to create a workflow, I can have actually templates here. So I get to increase traffic, increase revenue, build a relationship. And actually I can choose like which one you want. And now just welcome message. And I got to see it here. I'm going to move my camera a little bit. And you can see it right here. Contact edit to list, list name, wait for today, send email, welcome mail, right? So I recommend testing out. You will have a link down below in the description. You can test it out by yourself if you like it, if you don't like it, but you're not going to make a mistake if you choose the sending bull. Another thing is that they got really technical knowledge support and they're going to help you if you have any questions about how to actually use sending blue and how to send emails and everything. You can also like read it on Trustpilot that people are really satisfied with the sending bull. Now the next one I have for you is a mail ride. Mail ride is on the same level uh, as sending blue in my opinion with the delivery rate and everything. But 
it's targeted on subscribers. So it, it, it depends how many subscribers you're going to have. The one thing I really like and I admire MailRite is that it's going to actually offer you for free account all the features. Comparing to MailChimp where you're actually limited, you get 12,000 emails a month, 1 to 1,000 subscribers for free. Then if you're going to have like, let's say 5,000 subscribers, look at this, you're going to pay $30. Comparing to MailChimp, for all the features, comparing to MailChimp, you're going to pay $80 or $53. Again, you, you are saving money. Comparing to HubSpot, also you're saving money. Comparing to ActiveCampaign and Klaviyo, also you're saving money. So it's really great if you're going to use it for, uh, for automations or you can make sites here with landing pages or just create a campaign. When I would click here on create a campaign, let me show you. Again, subject... You can have AB split campaign or normal and you can go with the drag and drop editor. And then you get also the template gallery here. Also another advantage to MailRite is that you get beautiful templates that you can actually use. And let me show you, it's going to be really great. So login. And now I would go to campaigns. This is like my draft account that I created. And now I would again create a campaign. Okay, and now I would go to template gallery and here it is. You got 69 templates that you can actually use and they're actually pretty, right? That MailChimp got ugly templates. And I'm not biased or anything. I'm not paid by these. I'm just showing the truth. And also the pop-ups are beautiful here. And then the automation comparing to MailChimp, they're on the same level in my opinion when I would compare it to sending blue. You just set up work workflow trigger when some subscriber joins the group okay save you click plus here you send email delay condition or action email define an email account so when someone's going to join the group of your subscribers what are you going to actually send them and that's pretty much it so it's really simple really easy and record drop system works flawlessly here but it's also with the send in blue so when i would go to send in blue here campaign and I would create an email campaign. It's also really easy, right? So you're not going to make a mistake if you choose uh, Sending Blue or Mail, right? I recommend testing out both, which one you like more. And then you're going to see templates here, template gallery that you can also use, and design tool, drag and drop editor. Again, easy. But honestly, I like more Mail, right? And testing out the mail right drag and drop uh, it's more friendly and now the last one i prepared for you is a convert kit convert kit again is wonderful email marketing software but it's different yes it's a little bit more expensive but it's like the price is okay but the main difference is that on convert kit you're gonna actually uh you don't have templates so when you want to use convert kit the only way how we can use it is without templates. And I'm going to show you what kind of emails you can actually send with a convert kit because I actually subscribe to someone who is sending emails. Let me show you. I just need to find it in my... Hmm. Atomic Habits. Yes, here it is. It's called James Clear. And James Clear is uh, the guy who wrote Atomic Habits, a wonderful book about habits. And he's using ConvertKit. He got like around 1 million subscribers. And you can see it right here. Ideas from me, quotes from others, and it's all on text base. And this is how ConvertKit works. Text base. The pricing is for 5,000 subscribers. As I mentioned, a little bit expensive, but again, the quality is outstanding. With the broadcasts, with the products, or with the way how we can create landing pages, you are not going to make a mistake. And then you get also automations here. So, broadcast edit the broadcast and you can simply edit it but again i wouldn't personally choose convert it if i want to use it for if you want to use templates and for e-commerce for e-commerce i would go with the sending blue clavio mail ride and if i'm already generating revenue i would go with a active campaign if you're starting out with a affiliate website or with something i would definitely go and test out again sending blue and mail ride convert it is okay but you can test it out again, the free account, if you like it or if you don't like it. So guys, if you find this video useful, I would also be happy if you would write me what kind of business uh, like you have or project that you want to email marketing software. And I'm going to like recommend you what you should use and do. And this is pretty much it. So when I go to next step, 
and I can simply edit it, click plus here, image file button, and again, no templates at all. And this is how you can actually use it. So to summarize this whole video, MailChimp, Mailgun and HubSpot are a no-go. Uh, the Active Campaign and Klaviyo are wonderful for e-commerce and use Active Campaign if you're already generating revenue. Use Klaviyo if you have Shopify store. Then you're going to see Send in Blue and MailRide and ConvertKit are like top notch on the market in my opinion with the dollar rate and with the quality and with the customer support. Send in Blue, use it if you want to send a lot of emails. So like I don't know, if you're going to have a lot of subscribers and you're going to send emails to them, I would like if I'm going to have 100,000 subscribers, go with the Send in Blue. If you're not going to have a lot of uh, subscribers but you're going to send a lot of emails, go with the MailRide. ConvertKit use if you don't want to use it mm, templates for your emails. That's a good choice. So thank you very much everybody for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you find this video useful, uh, I made it in one go. And also, mm, which one you're going to use? And then, like, write me down below in the comments what kind of project you got, what kind of business you have that I'm going to like help you choose it for you. So peace. Hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.